We have uh, Richard Cambridge, Bill Zagarella, Stephen Stryker, Wally Butts, Gary Dixon. Are you out of it? Come on. Ships of wood and skin of white and robes of black, but the cross of silver and a lust for gold that they took with the power of the smoking gun. They followed, the path they followed was crooked, and the roads were forked with their tongue. We rode on horses swift as the wind. They rode the iron horse, and their iron was invincible. We drew our bows, and our arrows were straight, our bows were sprung, and the arrows were true. And some pierced up to the feathers, and some pierced clean on through. But the iron horse kept snorting, and the wheels of the iron horse kept grinding, and our sacred hoop was broken in the morning of the moon when the grasses were covered with dew. They chased us from the land of the daybreak star to the setting of the sun of the west. They gnawed away our land and took half again, and we were penned like bison, marooned on islands in the plain. And what was left was divided among the people. And it was as if divided by zero, and our portion was less than nothing. And our rulers were gamblers and gunmen, blessed by the missionaries who stole the spirit of our children and crucified us in the womb of their cherries. They planted ribbons of steel, and the rusty snake coiled our fields and choked out our harvest, and the earth was turned to dust. They strung our fields with talking wire, and the buffalo were scattered when their barrels of steel spat fire, and the buffalo were turned to dust. For the harvest of the seed was steel, and the fruit of the steel was rust. Oh, they fed us their culture and the body of the tribe to awaken in their sickness and consume in their disease. And there was none but the eagle to witness when they wrapped us around with their blanket of sickness. And spring turned to summer and summer to fall. And we fell in the moon of the fallen leaves. Ah, oh, Whitman, great poet with your great white beard and your barrel chested destiny, and your great white words realizing westward off the page like a man jerking his seed, like the spreading of their seed working westward. And their seed spread like fire to our spirit walking inward. Mad poets dazzling with the glories of the cities with their stone towers scraping the sky, and the bridges, tall, stretched out bridges with arch steel fingers spanning the rivers that flow with the factories and the bright fires of the night, and the pounding on the ankles, the sparks flying from the ankles, and how so beautiful, how so much like hell, and your people spreading like locusts, eating up the fields of forest and the fields of corn. Mad on their wheels, mad in their turning, mad in all their desires, sucking up the rivers till the beds are dry, sucking the breaths of our mothers, sucking the air from the sky, and saying, For this is our destiny, and we shall make it manifest. <laughs> Mountains are mad and the seasons divide your bones. Where love and risk are one, and the abyss is a bridge to the place where blue is sky, and brown is bark, and green is stem, and rocky shore and flesh sands, 
where ice forms in crystal truth, and our parallels hang in love and the cold. This is to the one whose waters are wild. Carry me, sister, carry me down the course of your river to the source of your waters. Let me ride on your rapids and drink in the foam and the bubbles of your last laughter. Push me, sister, hard on your banks, on your firm, sandy banks, down the tunnel of your river. Draw me down, sister, fast in the current of your deep, wild waters, to the source of your river, to the place of the mystery of your deep, quiet waters. Thank <laughs> you. 